I first thought that popped into my head when I heard about the world's longest lunch was, wow, how do we feed 1,600 people in one hit? Well, I've basically um, been working in restaurants ever since I could legally work. It's something that I love, it's in my blood. I enjoy the hospitality industry on so many different levels. Food's constantly changing, evolving. You're never going to stop learning and you can really make it something so simple into a masterpiece. A big lunch for us would be 70 or 80. I say, forget about it. You know, I say, <laughs> I say, sorry, no, that can't be done. Peter Roll and Catering, they're, they're you know, great operators in terms of those large-scale events. We needed a partner like that in, an, in this sort of event to even consider doing something on that scale. 1,600 baby chickens which we've uh, tunnel boned and stuffed. Uh, we've got ricotta ravioli, three per person. Do the math, it's nearly 5,000 pieces. It's the biggest thing I've ever taken part in. Uh, I think it's the biggest thing that we have ever taken part in as well. There's a lot of things that can go wrong on the day when you're talking about such large numbers. The major thing was making sure that everybody ended up with a plate in front of them. With a kilometre long table, that's not such an easy thing to do. You have to remind yourself that whatever you're doing is going out to somebody else. Somebody else is judging your work. The food itself is a, is a wonderful craft. It gets overridden by the interaction with your guests because that's really what it's all about at the end of the day. Food is something that brings people together, whether it be family or friends. It's a catalyst in which we come together and speak and, and, and communicate. That's sort of what hospitality is all about. The satisfaction that you that you get is out of customers that really enjoy your food and, and what you do. So um, that, that's the best reward.